Hello, everyone, under ICT1 uh, class of uh, ICT course. So I would like again to welcome you all in this uh, topic, which uh, be, this will be discussing about the healthy ways in working with a computer. So uh, we call it the uh, computer ergonomics. Okay, so let me share with you the presentation, which will help me uh, discuss the content of uh, the topic. Okay. So again, when we see ergonomics, uh, it is the science of designing a job, equipment, and or workplace to fit the worker. Because uh, in everything that we do, we always have to make some sort of uh, uh, optimization so that we'll be healthy to that particular workplace or if we work using a certain device like a computer, we still be doing the work or working on it in a healthy way. Okay, so let's find out what we uh, contain in this uh, topic. So let's move on. The goal is to optimize the fit between each worker and his or her work environment to optimize performance and reduce the risk of the repetitive strain injury. So I believe that you have also experienced some sort of pain, back pain, uh, I, uh, sore eye, something like that, uh, due to excessive uh, use of uh, devices, like the use of computers and cell phones. Okay, so we'll be learning how we are to avoid those uh, uh, things you not know, to happen to us. So when we see computer ergonomics, it addresses ways to optimize your computer workstation to reduce the specific risks of computer vision syndrome the neck and the back pain, the carpal tunnel syndrome, and other disorders affecting the muscles, spine, and joints. Okay, so of course we have to uh, really value our health, you know, especially nowadays that uh, uh, we are so uh, sensitive, no? prone tayo sa mga bacteria. No? That's why, or sa virus. That's why even when we are just here or inside our home working on our task we still have to do some sort of uh, uh, planning designing you know, the workplace so that we will still be healthy you know this and magstay kita long in that particular venue or location of our home so let's move on so we are to take into consideration the following things no in working with our computer since we are uh, learning how to use the computer no maximize it so we'll also be learning how to uh, do the right uh, procedure, position, finger positioning, and so on as we uh, work no, along and do, do tasks in our computer. So first is we have to sit. Okay, when we, work, when we work in our computer, we have to sit. So your head and neck are upright and in line with your torso, not bent down or tilted back. So the position must be look like this. Okay, so we have, we have to sit down. Uh, we have to rest our uh, fingers uh, at our keyboard. So, naka right angle lang po ang ating mga uh, uh, kamay, no? something like that, no? in that position. Let's move on. Next, we have to face your computer screen directly. Avoid viewing your screen with, or with your head turned or your back twisted. Okay, so hindi pwedeng nakayo ko, okay, nakayo ko ang likod or ang ulo naka-turn, okay? So, dapat sa screen tayo naka-tingin, uh, no, directly. So, wala masyadong nakailag na position. If, if you are to work longer in that position, for sure, may mararamdaman ng sakit sa katawan if we do it for a long time. Especially kapag marami tayong ginagawa sa computer at babad na babad tayo. So, next, we have to keep our elbows comfortably close to your body. To our body just like the example uh, picture there so if you notice no kapag malayo yung elbow sa katawan natin mabilis tayong mga maghina mabilis tayong mapagod so that's also true no when you are working in your computer no na, hindi naka rest yung elbow mo hindi siya naka right angle so you will possibly uh, feel some sort of muscle pain or nangangalay ka agad no so we we cannot be so productive if that's how we feel no while working in the computer so madali tayong mapagod so tendency is that we are to stop working no 
because of that uh, feeling. Next, we have to use a chair that provides support for your lower back and has a cushioned seat with a contoured front edge. So again, the, the chair must be designed uh, on, on, kumbaga may tinatawag tayong computer table, kumbaga yung, yung chair na to dinesign talaga uh, for a computer uh, work, something like that, you will be using this if you are sitting on your computer table so that you will be comfortable, no? Imalilas yung mga pain na mararamdaman natin if we are to sit there for a long period of time due to computer work. Okay, so just like this example. Okay, so always may support sa back natin. May sandigan kung baga yung uh, chair that we will be using. So another is that you are to keep your mouse close to your keyboard. So you don't have to reach for it. Mahirap kasi kapag malayo yung mouse sa keyboard. No? We have to always uh, make sure that the keyboard and the mouse are together. Because uh, from time to time, we are holding at our mouse and uh, we are typing at the keyboard no, for our computer task. So kung baga partner yan sila dalawa. Okay, so mahirap kapag malayo yung mouse. Ma Mabilis ka kasi mapagod because you will be uh, uh, moving again and again your uh, hand to just, just to reach the, the mouse and uh, perform some uh, operations there or functions. No? So that's it. So para hindi madaling mapagod, again, we have to position the mouse no, near to the keyboard. Another is that you are to position your computer display to the, so the top of the screen is at or slightly below eye level. This will allow you to view the screen without bending your neck. Kasi kapag hindi naka eye level or hindi, hindi mababa sa eye natin yung, yung window, tendency is that uh, we shall be magkukuba position tayo. So if we are to do that for a long period of time, we will of course feel the, the what we call or experience the what we call back strain, okay? Or uh, back pain, okay? And so we have to avoid no, doing that. So of course we are to make sure that the display of our monitor dapat below siya sa eye level, okay? So that will not be uh, doing the work, no? in an improper position. Another is that adjust the position of your display to prevent reflections of overhead and outdoor lighting appearing on your screen. So kasi kapag may, uh, uh, kapag may nag-reflect na light, hindi ganun ka-quality yung pinaproduce ni uh, monitor or pwedeng masilaw tayo while working on the computer. Okay, so that's another thing. No? Also, parang... Hindi, hindi mo makita kaagad kasi nga nasisilawan ka while, while working. Ano man yung display ni monitor, nasa screen, and so on. Oh, another thing is that, like kapag mag-picture tayo, ina-avoid din natin na may mga reflections kasi hindi niya display clearly kung ano yung nasa picture because of the, the light that uh, is uh, displaying on that uh, piece of uh, content that we are screenshotting or uh, taking picture of. Another is that you are to put your monitor close enough to your eyes so you can comfortably read text on the screen without leaning forward. So dapat nandiyan lang siya yung distance sa monitor no, sa screen at sa mata no, na tamang-tama lang na mabasa ka agad at make with comfort yung, yung display ni screen so that uh, we will be uh, working with our computer in a healthy way or na yung hindi mo na kailangan lumapit at uh, galaw ng galaw just to read what is uh, contained in the screen no? in working with your computer. Just yung tamang-tama lang. Okay? So, just fully extended arm length lang. Kung baga, we are to measure, no? measure nyo sa arm nyo. No? Just like in the picture. So, parang kanyan lang yung distance ng monitor at sa, sa screen, ng mata at sa screen so that you can read clearly what is being displayed, okay? Another is, uh, when working with print documents, we have to use a document holder that positions them at the same height and distance as your computer screen. So just like the example picture, dapat same height lang at distance ng computer screen para hindi tayo masyado mag-effort, okay, na mag-move ng ating head while looking at the copy and the entering data to the computer or do the encoding, okay, at hindi map malililipad yung document kung nakaban paper lang yan siya or naka 
isang stage na yan siya na madaling di pa rin, no? Or hindi siya madaling malaglag, no? Otherwise, it will uh, interrupt our uh, work, no? While we are uh, doing the the task in the computer. Okay? So, para hindi ganun ka, hindi nakakapagod, no? Kapag naka-in place ng lahat ng mga document na ginagamit natin while uh, doing the task. Okay? Naka-organize. So, another thing, no? Another, if you are to uh, have uh, what we call headset or audio device because uh, iba talaga ang dating kapag uh, maganda yung quality ng audio, if you are to invest on that particular device, you are to use this what we call hands-free headset, no? Para kapag when you're talking on the phone while working at your computer, hindi ka masyadong naaabala, okay? You can do multitasking, okay? Because uh, you can... Uh, uh, speak, you can listen while working or habang sinasabi niya yung mga ito type, ginagawa mo na something like that. So, hindi na tayo masyadong naaabala kapag eh, ganyang uri ng headset ang meron tayo. So, that would be all for the computer ergonomics. I hope uh, the discussion or this video will help you uh, in your work with your computer or with your device. Okay, so see you in our next video. God bless everyone.